Well, once again, Coach Cowan said after the win over LSU, he's pleased with his team's will to win, that the Cats had a chance to win it late and then did. After the hot start to the game and a 7-0 run from the tip, LSU took that 36-31 lead into the locker room, but the Tigers previously were perfect on the season when up at the break. So that changed last night. And what changed and switched for UK to come out hot again, retake the lead, and then be able to fight off the Tigers late, even with three guys batting the flu, and Amadou Diallo, SKJ, and Nick Richards. At halftime, our biggest, you know, guys, they want it more than you want it. What is going on here? I mean, and then we knew guys, okay, listen, you're sick, you're sick, you're sick. I'm not, I'm going to start you, but I'm not, if you can't play, then I'm not playing you much. And I tried to get them in and out, in and out, but it was just to spell the guys that we were trying to finish the game with. How many times have we heard Coach Cowan talk about his team's will to win? It's not just this season, it's every year. That's flew down LSU for Amadou Diallo, SKJ, Nick Richards, or not. Saw Blue fans know it all too well as well. But when the Cats don't have a will to win, despite illness, with it or without it, things have typically not gone the right way. So, does this team have what it takes to run through SEC league play and come out on top of the good seed come March? This, this team, when they fight and when they battle, they're, we got a chance. The other team, I, we can't win in this league. I mean, I've coached in this league enough to know. And, and you have th this year top to bottom. I mean, you can lose games this year in the league, and it's not going to hurt you. Like, we've had years where if you lost that game, you, well, with us it may be different. We we'll win three and drop seven places. Oh, Coach Cal. Shea Gilders Alexander has been the glue guy coming off the bench for Kentucky the last three outings. 63 total points for an average of 21 of ISGA, leading this UK bunch to victory time and time again. What change that pushed UK over the top and kept the Cats in the win column down in Baton Rouge? And what led to the five point deficit at the break to begin with? We got punched in the mouth first in the first half. Um, they were the aggressors, and we just let them attack us, and that was the emphasis. We had to come out in the second half and be aggressors, and I think we did that. We did that in the second half, and that's why we won.